A very good evening and a warm welcome to tonight's edition of KTN Sports. I'm Lynn Washira. After ending the 2014-2015 season with victory in the ball category, the National Rugby Sevens team returned home today well aware that the future needs more planning for better results. Kenya finished 13th on the log and the next assignment will be to qualify for the Rio 2016 Olympics. By all standards, Kenya's performance in the 2014-2015 World Rugby Sevens Series was disappointing. Shujaa at least came home with a silverware following their ball victory in the final leg in London Sevens. The win saw Felix Socheng's sides collect 8 points to finish 13th overall on 46 points, a deep from last year's season where Kenya was ranked 7th with 84 points. The overall poor show is not just a wake-up caller to their administrators, but also for the team, especially given that the route to the Rio Olympics is now longer. With regards to the potential that the team has, has shown, it just goes to prove, you know, with hard work and consistency, you know, we can go out there and we can post some really good results. This season has gone. It, it's something that we need to put behind us very fast. We need to build a team, a team that will be able to present this country very well. The Olympic qualifier set for November in South Africa means one thing, that Shuja will have to win all matches to save face and qualify to the Games. Colin Sinjara, who scored his 200th try, admits the end of season was Kenya's toughest. Mchezo huu unabadilika, unendo kibadilika, unendo kibadilika. Na saa zingine, kama vile mnavu ujua mchezo inakuwanga, kuna saa mtakuwa sawa, kuna saa itakuwa, vitu wa zitakuwa zaendelea. Mmeza kuwa mnajaribu, mnajaribu, lakini badu vitu wa zingiani.